we invite you to take a video visit of San Francisco, an enchanting city. One of the most romantic cities in the world. Less than 50 square miles of actual area, yet larger than life. It was a time of struggle, the dope era, the crack era. Crack was just coming on the scene and I started selling dimes. I started from nothing. I would get a Baskin Robbins spoon and I would take it and I'd fill it up, flatten it out with a card, take it and put it on the album cover and split it down the middle. And I would sell each one of them for $10. That's how I got my start. We ran San Francisco in its entirety. Hunters Point, Lakeview, Fillmore, and we started to branch out into other parts of the Bay Area. I took that hustle to multi kilos to being able to travel to Columbia and buy directly from the Colombians and fly the drugs back to the Bay Area. I was buying 500 kilos cash. Me and my crew was running through them every month. You know, I was taking a delivery of 500 kilos a month and going through them. When you think of urban black gangsters, you don't think of San Francisco. You think of New York. No, we got gangsters. We got gangsters here in San Francisco. Phil Mo Slim, Ronnie New, the Ward brothers from Oakland. Me and Dill Reed from Oakland, Lil D, we rubbed elbows. Felix Mitchell from Oakland. I went down to LA, did deals with Harry O, to sitting at the Grammys with the Jacksons, to owning 7-Elevens, body shops, roofing companies, delicatessen, liquor stores, Rolls Royces, Mercedes Benz, 15, 20 car fleet, the jewelry, 13 karat single stone diamond rings, million dollars in jewelry. And I still got some of it. See, look, I still got some of that stuff, man. This stuff is old, man. This is some of the fruits of my labor right here, man, that I still got. How many dudes you know still got a jewelry after 30 years, man? I still got mine. And the government saw that I wasn't just the average dumb black kid who just bought cars and jewelry. I was trying to find a way to legitimize my money by taking it and sticking it in the businesses. And the government said, hold it, wait a minute, this guy is smarter than the average cat. We have to stop him. Now, some of you may know the story of Al Capone, where they couldn't get him for prohibition, so they got him for tax evasion. That's the same thing with me. You couldn't get me for crack cocaine, so you got me for tax evasion. I'm the youngest person in the history of the United States to ever be charged with a tax evasion case at the early age of 25. I did 27 years in federal prison. 27 straight, no breaks, no nothing. No coming home, make another kid, go back to the pen. No, 27 straight is what I did. This is a true uncut story on how the cocaine era was ran in San Francisco. Yes, I said it, I'm stamping it. I was the largest cocaine drug dealer in my era. San Francisco, the cosmopolitan city.